the month where I review all of my monthly favorites. As always, everything mentioned in today's video will be down below in the description box in case you guys are interested. Can you guys believe it's August already? Where has the summer gone? I have no idea. Time is fine, like that. Before we get started, I want to do a really quick shout out. I am like in such a good freaking mood right now because I got my hair did this morning. Huge shout out to Hair by Lily in San Jose. This girl is like the guy tang of Northern California and this girl can do some Asian hair. And we're just kind of starting with like phase one. She's going to go back in in a few months and add some more baby lights, some color melting and really get some good dimension in there. And today was just like the first step and already it's like the best hair I've ever had in my life. Heart to heart, I haven't talked to you guys about my hair loss in a really long time. It's actually gotten like incredibly worse since I started moving and I just don't know what to do about it. I've been really insecure. You know, just even being on camera and stuff, I know it sounds super freaking lame, but your hair is such a power source of like confidence for you. So I, I really wanted to get a new look and she really transformed my hair into exactly what I've always wanted. Just this Victoria's Secret textured sexiness with the perfect like ash, like blonde brown I mean I seriously cannot believe there's zero brassiness in my hair I am beyond beyond excited and happy and grateful so thank you so much Lily if you guys are in the Bay Area you guys have got to check her out let her know that I sent you girl is gonna hook you up with the best hair you have ever had Mm. All right, so back on track. Monthly favorites. Let's get started with some of my favorite beauty products of the month of July. Monthly favorite number one. I've got a drugstore item for you guys. This is the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer, and the scent that I have is Calming Green Tea Oil. And I got this at Target for around like $7. Girl, I've seen so many commercials on this, and I don't know why I've never tried it. I feel like I'm very late on the bandwagon on this one, but this is such a cool, innovative product. It took me a while to get used to it, but I've been using it all summer, and I've really really enjoyed it so the whole thing about it is that it's an oil-based moisturizer and it's supposed to hit your skin at like the maximum moisture absorption like time period so honestly it feels a little weird at first right when you're doing the shower you kind of have like all those little like water droplets on you you take a nice little like quarter size amount and you rub it all over and it mixes in with the water and it's supposed to sink into your skin and give you like two times more moisture than like an average lotion you kind of feel like a slippery snail a little bit but basically after you rub it in let it sink in for a second you take a towel and you kind of dab all of the moisture off of your skin so it kind of like locks and seals it in and then you just get out of the shower and like get on with your day and that's like my favorite thing about this is because I save so much time I hate getting in the shower drying off then putting on lotion waiting 15 20 minutes before I can put my freaking panties on last thing I'm not really into like super perfumey scents but I ended up getting this calming green tea oil one because it was like the most purchased one on the shelf I actually really like it I I'm really into green tea, like everything. I'm a green tea matcha addict, and this smells like, uh, it kind of smells like Arizona green tea. Yeah, a little bit like that. But for all you lazy girls that hate lotioning up after the shower, definitely give this one a try. Moving on to July monthly favorite number two. I got this fantastic facial cream to show you guys. This is from a company called Era Organics, and this is the Complete Moisture Nourish Repair Protect Daily Face and Body Cream. So I found this guy on Amazon, and the reason why I got it was because I had ran out of like, just like a basic moisturizer while I was moving, all my stuff was in storage. So I wanted to find something that was like very all natural because my skin was just having a really crappy time. So I found this super high rated cream and oh my god, I am so in love with it. So the best way I could describe this cream is like if you could think of all of like the best top organic, all natural, amazing ingredients that are good for your skin, like combine all that stuff into one and you got this cream. You got ingredients like aloe, cocoa butter, coconut oil, manuka honey, all types of different vitamins. And the crazy thing is for someone who has like oil Oily combination skin I'm very adverse to things that are like cream based but oh my gosh this is the most non greasy cream I've ever tried like once you put it on it just feels like velvet silk also hypoallergenic and great for all skin types so highly 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 recommend this guy for those of you who have sensitive skin who need a little bit of good nourishment or also people that like more natural organic products okay moving on to monthly favorite number three I've got one makeup product for you guys this is the Neutrogena healthy skin liquid makeup with SPF 20. 
and the color that I have is nude 40 I got this guy at Target for around like $10 and I literally use this guy like every single day in the month of July reasons why I rediscovered my love for this foundation it definitely is more of like a dewy natural finish I feel like it's a little bit more on the moisturizing side than the mattifying now that I am not in humid weather and my skin is much drier my skin is really adapting very well to this second thing I love is the actual colors that they offer in this line they are definitely more like neutral yellow based I really cannot wear foundations that are pink undertone so this one just fit the bill perfectly obviously really love the SPF combination within the formula and then the fourth and last thing I really love about this foundation is more of like a light to true medium coverage I definitely feel like it's more of a breathable formula I feel like a little bit more natural but to be fair I haven't had too many like visible red pimples lately so I feel like I could swing it with the lighter coverage normally if I'm breaking out pretty bad I'll have to go to like the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless that's a little bit more coverage but for now I actually am really liking this more fluid formula I do have to touch up a little bit more frequently specifically on like my t-zone granted my nose is like a wet tomato 24 7 but definitely not deterring me from enjoying it I clearly love it for all of the reasons that I mentioned and I highly recommend it for those of you guys looking for more of like a natural dewy youthful foundation with some SPF and don't need super high coverage moving on to monthly favorites number four okay this one is really embarrassing all right but I gotta call it out because it legit is one of my favorite things right now so we all have our favorite loungewear when we're at home okay mine is definitely the robe I am like hardcore a robe girl I'm like shed all the clothes throw on the robe smoke a cigar no I'm kidding <laughs> so I like to just be like all wrapped up and feel like a luxurious like pampered spa day all the time like that's just how I roll I found like my favorite guilty pleasure which are these silky Asian robes all right all right I got the mauve and the bright purple color and dude like they're soft they're silky like I just think that they're so luxurious feeling and especially during the summertime when it's like super hot outside like I don't want like a heavy furry like terry cloth robe I want something light and flirty like this <laughs> and honestly if I could go back to my wedding I think that this would be just like the most perfect cute bridesmaid gift because you can all take really cute pictures together and it's just something that you know you can definitely wear over and over again coolest thing too is I actually threw this in the washer and I thought it would be totally trash after that dude I took it out of the washer hung it out to dry and it was like brand new so if you guys are into robes like me definitely gonna add this to your repertoire okay moving on to monthly favorite number five let's stick in the silky soft department my new souvenir bomber jacket from forever 21 you've got the beautiful floral embroidery along the chest mixed in with all those sporty bold stripes along you know the wristband the collar and the sleeve I think I paid like $35 for it they make any outfit that you wear like instant like street style edgy cool like badass chick and I just I'm really into it and the silkiness of it the quality of it I mean I, I feel like it feels just as good as like those hundred dollar options I'm actually collecting some really cute ones to do a lookbook for you guys in the future but this one right now has been definitely um, in the greatest rotation of my wardrobe my current favorite source for affordable bomber jackets souvenir jackets trophy jackets varsity jackets is definitely forever 21 I'm going to link all my favorite ones down below for you guys to check out I highly recommend you guys checking out who before the fall season starts like back to school season because they're all gonna go like hotcakes and it's definitely an essential jacket that you need in your fall wardrobe, girl. Monthly favorite number six is going to be a handbag. <gasps> I'd like to introduce my new baby. This is the Henry Bendel West 57th school bag. And I think it's just the most sophisticated, adorable, structured mini bag. I love it. I literally bought it right when they put it on the shelf. So really quick, there's actually a big sale going on right now. You get $25 off of every $150 that you spend. I actually bought this guy in addition to a big satchel, which I'm gonna be doing a full Henry Bendel purse review for you guys. I know you really liked my tote bag one last year. So definitely take advantage of that if you are in the lookout for a new purse purchase for the fall season. A couple reasons why I really love this one. First of all, again, I've 
noticed that my my aesthetic has been more towards like mini bags, things that are more structured, more minimalist. And so that was the initial reason why I really loved it. As you can see on top, there's a cute little silk scarf here. This is the Henry Bendel Twilly scarf, I think is what it's called. I thought it was such a chic, cute accessory and it really like jazzes up the bag. And I got this black color because it matches my new green satchel and also my burgundy one from last year. So I could kind of use it over and over again, which was really cool. But the interior space was what totally freaking sold me. So you got these cute little turn locks right here and then you can open the flap. And then on the inside you have two separate sections. I can get my big old Henry Bendel Continental Zip Wallet and it fits perfectly inside the front or the back section. And then the other side that I'm not using for the wallet, I can seriously fit my phone, I can fit a compact powder, I can fit pens, pads. I'm like literally in shock at how much I can fit into the other side. It's like Merlin's bag or something. And it just makes it so that when I open the flap, I have a clear delineation between if I need my wallet to pay for something or if I need a rummage for my phone and other things. Like, I just love how organized it is. Y'all, I cannot stop raving about this bag. If you are someone that likes a smaller size purse, but something that's also functional and very chic for the fall and winter seasons, you gotta check out this bag. It is marvelous. All right, guys, so that does it for my July monthly favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed today. As I mentioned, everything will be mentioned down below in the description box in case you are interested. Huge thank you again to Lily for making my hair so fabulous. I'm just like boosting with confidence right now. I'll include her info down below in case you guys are interested in checking out her work. She's got amazing pictures on Instagram. As always, I love you guys. Thank you for being the most amazing people in the world. You guys are my everything. Have an amazing rest of your weekend. I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye!